Hello, so today's video, you've probably already seen the title, is on the ColourPop No Filter Foundations. Um, I just got these in the mail today and I have sneaked and watched a couple of other people's videos and saw that everybody loves it. So I tried not to watch too much but I was just really, really curious. Um, if you guys don't know, this uh, is their first foundation. They do have some complexion items, the concealers that have come out, two different actual kind of concealers. But this retails for $12. I also picked up the Translucent No Filter Setting Powder, which I'm really excited for. I'm really hunting for a new setting powder. I've actually been mixing some of mine. I'm um, just trying to get the perfect one. It has not worked. And then I also picked up a new shade of their No Filter Concealer. This is in the shade Fair 05, 04, 04. When I first purchased them, when they first came out, they just had light... 20 and Fair 5 I think was the palest one. Both of these are too tan for my under eyes but I use them all the time on my regular eyes. As you can see I just absolutely hate it because look at how empty it is. <laughs> I also got a free brush. It was free if you bought the foundation so that's pretty cool. I'll use that. I don't use brushes a lot. Um, I just want with light streaks. But I'm going to use a couple of their other complexion items as well. This is the No Filter Concealer in rich tan and then this is one of their first concealers the sculpting sticks I use this on my nose all the time this is in adulting so I'm gonna use that today I am NOT going to prime I'm just gonna use a little bit of my eye cream this is the V2 code eye cream if you guys are interested in this eye tutorial hopefully it worked out on camera and I will be uploading it shortly after this video so I got this in two shades I got it in Fair 25 and I got it in light 45. I couldn't decide online which one was better suited for me. I go for a more yellow complexion. It comes in a glass bottle which I love. I think the stars are just kind of cute. I don't really know. This does lock which I thought was really cool that they didn't include the top because I was like hey if you can save some plastic save it. But this one is leaking so now I kind of wish they had put the top on there. But it's all good. I'm going to see which color I should use. There is Fair 25. I don't know if it oxidizes or anything. That actually looks a little bit too light for me. This is light 45. They actually mix together really well. Maybe I'll just mix them. I'm going to start off with a pump of each color. Ooh. I'm going to use my Morphe sponge for one side and the foundation brush that they sent on the other. Zoom in a little bit. I really, really like the color of the two of those mixed. Alright, so for one pump on each color. It did only cover about half my face. I mean, I could add, use a little bit more, which I will do on my second. I know this sponge does steal a lot of product, though, so I'm not going to be too harsh. But I think it looks pretty good. I mean, you can definitely still see my, you know, freckles and discoloration, but it looks pretty good. Going in on the other side. Oh, God, what was that? Going in on the other side. For this side, I'm going to use the F16 that they sent. Alright, so the brush is definitely <laughs> taking that foundation a lot farther because I still have so much in my hand. It doesn't look like it's oxidized too much, so this side of my face is still wet, and this side of my face is more dry, and they pretty much look like the same color, so that's good. I think it looks so good, so I think you can definitely see that there's more coverage on this side. It looks really good. 
I still have some extra, so this brush definitely use a lot less than the sponge, which is okay. I'm going to go in with another pump of each color for this side. I want to see if I can layer it up and get that much coverage on this side. It doesn't have a scent at all. I mean, not at all. Look at the coverage on my under eyes. <laughs> With the second layer, this foundation could definitely be a concealer to me. That's incredible. I mean, I'm gonna use concealer, but I thought that was worth mentioning. Look at that, it's so good. All right, so here's two layers on the sponge side. I do think I got a little bit more coverage with the second layer. This is only really one layer of the brush. I am going to go in with the sponge and just kind of finish it out. I think the brush did a great job, and I'm amazed that this foundation looks good with a brush. Normally, my foundations have, like, a bunch of brush strokes and stuff, um, so that's why I don't like to use brushes, but that brush did a really great job with this foundation. So my absolute first impression of this foundation is that it is really good coverage. Um, I would say medium to full on the first layer with the sponge or the brush. Um, obviously the sponge I didn't get a full layer um, on this side initially but the second layer was full 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 coverage. I think right now I have achieved absolute perfection coverage. I think it looks really good. Those two colors mixed together is my perfect shade. I don't know how that worked out. Alright so I'm gonna go in now and Use the No Filter Concealer in the shade Rich Tan just a little bit to cream contour. What I didn't like about this is that it dries super fast, so I just do one side at a time. It is such freaking coverage, so just be very careful. I'm just going to go in with whatever is left on my sponge and go around all of the like, insides of that contour just because I want everything to be super blended. Everything is going together very well. Um, it's, you know, it's good you want all of their complexion products to blend with themselves. Alright, so for my nose, I'm going to use the old school sculpting sticks. This was like the first concealer that they came out with. And they came out with like every single shade in this one. And I don't think that people really liked these. I didn't like them to highlight, but I came to love nose contouring with them. I'm going to do my lip also. You just really don't even have to blow them out that much. And I just love how precise you can get up in there and draw. Alright, so I'm going to show you guys the difference in these three shades. Um, like I said, when I first when they first came out with these concealers, these were the lightest two shades. And now they have a bunch of other ones that are way lighter than this one as well. So here is light 20. Here is Fair 5, and here is the brand new one, Fair 4. The problem with these for using them under my under eyes is like Fair 5 right now looks like it's the perfect color for me, but it, they oxidize so, so much. So I'm going to go in with Fair 4, which is the next lightest shade. I feel like I don't even need concealer because that foundation... I really like this applicator. It does allow a lot of product to get on the brush. You really don't have to dip. All right, so right here, see, I've applied that first. You can tell that this is oxidizing because look at how bright that wet is. And this is just a shade darker, but hopefully since this is a little bit too light for me right now, it'll work out. <laughs> I am really in need of a new good concealer. I don't think I've been in frame not a bit, huh? <laughs> I really need a new concealer and a new setting powder that works for me. I swear to God, the moment I turned 27, my under eyes turned 80. Like, no concealer looks good anymore. No setting powder looks good. I'm, like, mixing all of my setting powders, 
trying different concealers, trying different methods, nothing is working. <sighs> I'm sorry, I think that looks so freaking good. Now the setting powder, hopefully this doesn't spoil it. First of all, I hate the sifters. I'm gonna go ahead and take this out. I hate sifters. All right, so I just took some scissors, pulled it out. There we go. It's a very small container. Here's the cover FX. This is 10 grams versus 5 grams. So actually that's not that bad. They just wasted a lot of packaging on this. All right, so I'm going to do one side with the sponge and then one side with the brush. I have been really liking the brush lately, but you never know. Let me just make sure all my wrinkles don't get frozen in time there. I can't believe how good my skin looks right now. Going in with the sponge. This looks a little yellow for translucent, not gonna lie. I'm gonna just do like all of my one side. And now I'm gonna go in with this Luxie brush. This is actually for foundation. I always use it for my powder though. All right, so I do think that there's a slight color to this translucent powder, but is there, like there, there always is, it feels like, with translucent powders. I just don't want it to go darker. Um, I think this looks so good. <laughs> All right, you guys are like really close, and I'll probably get a complaint or two about how close you are, but I wanted to show you how good it looks. I haven't sprayed anything. I haven't done my bronzer, anything like that. Um, I just feel like a little doll. I feel like there's not one blemish on my face. On my under eyes, I can definitely see that it's going to crease, but to be honest, unless like some concealer comes out with like an iron to get these wrinkles out. I think that's going to happen to me from now on. <sighs> Does this remind you guys of how I used to film all of my videos this close? Um, I don't have a single freckle and I've been tanning lately so my freckles have been out out. I think that this looks so so good. The powder um, has a little bit of color to it. It's not it's not translucent, um, but it looks pretty good, honestly, as long as the color doesn't look bad, you know. Anyways, I'm going to finish the rest of my face, and then I'll come back to you guys. I am very happy. Okay, goodbye. All right, so it's been about a half hour since I applied the foundation and all of the other complexion products. Looking at my skin, let me zoom in. Woo! The rest of my face is looking so dang good. Um, for bronzer, I did just use the ColourPop bronzer that I have. This one doesn't have the name on it, but I think I nailed it down. I'll link everything below, of course. I used the Gorgeous Cosmetics Face Palette in this color right here for blush. For my highlighter, I used this eyeshadow from the palette that I used for my eyes. Like I said, I, if this tutorial is not up, I will link it down below as well if you wanted that. I did not spray my face. I actually really like the powder look. Um, it doesn't look too bad now. I think that this is going to kind of absorb my oils and end up looking like nice and dewy. I'm not going to wear it for too long. I actually broke my toe, so I've been at home for the last couple of days. So I'm not doing anything. So uh, if you guys want to wear a test, I can absolutely do it. I can also just let you know down in the description box below how it wears for me, say, tomorrow when I go to work. Um, I, I think that this is such a good foundation. But my first impressions are very positive of this foundation. I really like it. I'm so glad I picked up this concealer because... I am definitely going to be rocking this paler shade, and then this setting powder is God-given. Um, I didn't watch what a lot of people thought of this, but I love it so much. Um, at first glance, it looks like this is a lot less product. It's just a lot less packaging, because this is only um, a gram and a half more, this Cover FX, and the price is like triple. This was only $9, and there are three shades. There's a banana and a darker one. 
It's not completely translucent. If you are much paler than me, um, it's probably not going to work for you. It does have a slight color to it. I really like it. It was brightening for me. Um, but if you are paler and you still want to try it, you can always mix it with one of your whiter powders. I have the super white powder from Ben Nye, and if I have a yellow yellow powder that I just really like the way it performs, I'll mix them together. So there's a tip for you there. I think that that powder just really filled in everything and just looks so so good remember I did not use a primer my texture looks great everything is looking so good with this foundation I am absolutely in love I did have to mix these two together for my perfect color um, but I do have to do that a lot in their defense um, and still together it's $24 for this incredible foundation and that still doesn't touch other foundation prices out there I am really really pleased guys I hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching Thank you.